Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about properties of arithmetic mean. These properties will help you a lot in, in doing the problems that related to arithmetic mean, which we are going to discuss in our next classes. In our last class, we already discussed about uh, some of the examples of uh, arithmetic mean. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's understand the properties one by one if x bar is the arithmetic mean of n observations uh, x1 x2 x3 so on xn are the data points that have given then x1 minus x bar plus x2 minus x bar plus so on xn minus x bar is equal to zero so what's this equation let's try to understand what's this equation means uh, x1 minus x bar plus x2 minus x bar this equation is a, uh, we call this equation as sum of deviations of set of values from their arithmetic mean so what's that mean we'll understand with an example sum of deviations of let's try take the example 1 2 3 4 5 these are the values if you calculate the mean of this x bar is equal to 3 is the mean value take the first data point 1 minus What's the mean value? 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus so on. If you write like this. So 1 minus 3 will give the value how much it is means the data point 1 is how much it is deviated from the mean value. Our mean value is 3. How much it is deviated from the mean value? The first data point is. Second data point, how much it is deviated from the mean value? Third data point, how much it is data, uh, how much it is uh, deviated from the mean value? That is what the deviation means. Sum of deviations of set of values from their arithmetic mean. That is what this statement says. That is the that is what this equation says. So this equal to zero. How it is equal to zero? Let's try to understand the proof of this. X bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus so on xn divided by n. This is how we calculate the arithmetic mean for the given n data points. Then if you take the n value to the right hand side, x bar n is equal to x1 plus x2 plus so on xn. This is also important point you have to understand. We will use most of the times in our uh, uh, examples to do the examples we will use this equation x1 plus means sum of all data points can be obtained by using n into if you have the mean value you can you will get the sum of all the data points some value will be obtained by n x bar therefore if you write this x1 minus x bar plus x2 minus x bar plus x3 minus x bar plus so on uh, xn minus x bar this can be converted as uh, if you take x1 x2 x3 all them out uh, and x bars are uh, taken out uh, how many x bars will be there n x bars will be there x bars means mean values will be there it is written like this x1 plus x2 plus so on xn minus n x bar this can be written as n x bar so n x bar minus n x bar is equal to zero that's why you'll get the summation of all the deviations from the arithmetic mean is given as zero coming to the second property mean of composite series suppose it was given an example mean of heights of n1 girl students is equal to x1 bar mean of heights of n2 boy students are given as a x2 bar n1 girls are there n2 boys are there their mean values are given like this x1 bar x2 bar so it is given as x1 bar is equal to xg1 plus xg2 plus 1 xg n1 girl students are there divided by n1 this is how we calculate the mean x2 bar is equal to xb1 plus xb2 so on n2 boys are there divided by n2 total mean x bar is given as a, x bar is equal to bracket uh, x xz1 plus xz2 plus so on xzn plus xb1 plus xb2 plus so on xbn2 divided by n1 plus n2 this is how we write the equation for the total mean if you want to calculate the mean of both boys and girls this is how we calculate this can be written as see xz1 plus this can be if you take the n1 to the other side you can write it as a, this equation can be written as n1 x1 bar plus this equation can be written as n2 x2 bar this formula also we will use in our examples this is applicable not only for two 
here we are having two groups uh, we are having the mean value for two groups if you are having 10 groups 10 different groups you can calculate using the using the formula n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar plus so on n10 x10, x10 bar divided by n1 plus n2 plus so on n10 this is how we calculate the mean if the mean values of different groups has been given total mean can be calculated and coming to the next uh, property if each of the value in, uh, in data is increased or decreased by a fixed value then the mean of new data is increased or decreased by the fixed value so anyhow with this uh, with this uh, statement you don't understand with example we will understand it better 1 2 3 4 5 these are the values if you calculate the mean of this x bar is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 5 that is equal to 3 this is our actual data points uh, the statement says that uh, if you add or subtract uh, with a fixed data with a fixed value with all the all the data points are added or subtracted with a fixed value Suppose if you take a fixed value as 5, add with the 5, 1 plus 5, 6, 2 plus 5, 7, so on, 8, 9, 10. If you calculate the mean for this new data points, you will get 8. How you are getting this 8? 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So if you subtract it, 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 2 you will get. So the x bar new is equal to x bar plus this fixed value whatever the fixed value you want, if you want to add it add the add the mean with the, this new value if you want to minus it minus the va fixed value with this uh, mean value this is the x bar means mean of this value, original data after adding you will get this data this data mean can be given as x bar new is equal to x bar plus 5 similarly the above equation can be applicable for for multiplication or division also if you multiply with the given numbers with a fixed number all the numbers in the data is multiplied with a fixed number the mean can be multiplied with that number so 1 2 3 4 5 divided by 5 mean value is 3 1 multiplied by 5 5 2 multiplied by 5 10 15 20 30, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 15 how you got this 5 3 is 15 this is the mean 5 3 is 15 let's take an example and one more example each data is multiplied by b and added with a you take a fixed value b and if you take a fixed value a each of our data point is multiplied by b and added with a then the mean of the new data points is given as x new bar is equal to a plus b x bar so these are the some of the some of the properties which you have to understand to solve the problems hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you